What's going on YouTube? So today I want to check out Motorola's 1080p Wi-Fi indoor camera. This is their Focus 71 model and this is the white model as you can see right here. So this is wall mount ready or you can actually set it on a tabletop and they're going to use the Hubble app. So what's really nice about uh, the Motorola one is a lot of these camera companies, they do a really good job of making their cameras for security but they skimp on when making the software and the software is usually not very intuitive and it's very, very uh, cumbersome. So what Motorola did is they're going to use Hubble for their actual app itself. So as you can see down here, it's a two-way talk uh, style camera and 90 degree wide angle view. And then it works with voice assistant with Alexa and Google assistant. It really looks like Motorola made this to compete with the ring indoor security cameras. Um, with the price being of, I think it's $69.99 on Amazon.com. I'll link it in the description below so you can go check it out yourself. Uh, I think this is a really good uh, quality setup that you can get instead of going with a more expensive model. On the back it says view in 1080p on a compatible smartphone or tablet. It has a true color filter for color correction and low light. It does have night vision, digital zoom, uh, secure and private connection, Wi-Fi wireless con connectivity, and it does have a local and cloud storage. Now one thing to note, cloud storage uh, does require you to pay, I think it's a monthly fee or a yearly fee, but it does have local storage. On the back, it shows mobile viewing via your phone, and they also have smart zones for alerts. So that way, if you have an area that gets a lot of motion, but you don't want to get alerts on it, you can actually set up where you want to get alerts. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what you get in the box. All right, so first you have a thank you for your Motorola home purchase. It lists their customer support and, and their customer service, live chat, and email. Then you have their quick start guide and it looks like a inject pin or reset pin and you have a micro usb power plug looks like about six foot then you have this 3m padded double sticky tape so this looks like you will mount this on the wall with this if you want to mount it on the wall so here's the camera itself it's actually really small so it's not like a sore thumb sticking out uh, so it's really nice a nice white color they do have a black color as well uh, you have a plastic bezel here as well as a plastic base but you do have a nice metal um, mount here itself so that way I mean that way you can move it around and it's also a sturdy mount you have the 1080 full HD camera itself right there and then around it you have the actual night light or the night vision you have a sensor right there as well as a microphone right there and you have a nice speaker on the back large speaker you have the micro USB plug-in right there and I'm not a big fan of where the plug-in is but how they engineered this that's just where it goes then you have the micro SD card for on onboard memory and then you have a reset switch right here all in all this is a really good quality camera and for the price I think you're getting a good package so let's go ahead and look at the actual camera footage the daytime and nighttime footage and as well as quality of audio. So here it is kind of a daylight, well, no daylight, but bright light situation. Um, I actually am going to use this for my garage. So you can see now what it looks like in my garage and I can monitor my garage from uh, anywhere I want to be. So here's the quality with light. So here's the quality of my uh, night vision in a completely pitch black garage. So there you go. You have the quality and you decide yourself if you like it. So here is the sound test for the two-way audio. This is the quality they're going to get from the actual two-way audio itself. So here's a little bit of a test of the actual app itself. So I only have one camera set up right now. This is it right here. And it's got a snapshot of the last thing it saw in motion. And it tells you when it saw the motion. And you tap into it to get a live view. So here's the live view of my basement right now. I can go in here and actually record video, capture image or going to my gallery of my reviewed things or things that it's captured. You can see my leg right there. Or you can go to the audio and you actually press the talk and actually talk to the person. And it looks like you can actually play music or listen maybe into what's going on. And then you have event history. So this have all the event history that's going on right now. And then it's got a little cloud on when it's stored to the cloud. And there you go. And also on this, you can set it up to actually record 
are actually detect you on motion as well as sound. So that's the nice thing about it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below as well. Like I said, I'll link the product in the description so you can check it out. As well as if this is your first time, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.